Super Committee is actually pretty far from a deal as we meet this morning. Republican Senator Jim DeMint says that he is afraid that the talks have broken down, and he is the chairman of the Senate Conservatives Fund, uh, and he's also going to talk to us about this Christmas tree tax this morning. So welcome, Senator. Good to have you here today. Thank you, Martha. Good to be with you. You know, they have been somewhat tight-lipped, although we're starting to hear some things that are coming out of this super committee. And, and the word is that uh, Pat Toomey, Senator Pat Toomey, put forward a deal that would have cut $1.5 trillion and even offered from the Republican side uh, a revenue, tax revenue increase of $300 billion. But that deal is a no-go? Well, Senator Toomey, I know, has gone well beyond his comfort zone and mine to try to work something out. But what appears to be happening is the Democrats want to take another trillion dollars from hardworking American taxpayers and bring it into the government rather than going through the list of hundreds of wasteful programs, uh, fr programs filled with fraud and duplication. Uh, they're not willing to cut any program, Martha. So we're, we're really at a, an impasse, and it sounds like the Democrats have walked away from the table unless uh, Republicans agree to over a trillion dollars in new taxes, and they won't agree to give us any real tax reform. So I'm not sure what the truth is at this point, uh, but it was a bad idea in the first place to go behind closed doors with the Democrats and uh, let the president define what it was Republicans really believed in. Well, let, so uh, I'm worried about how this thing is going to turn let, out. Let me ask you, you know, it's interesting because uh, John Kerry and Patty Murray apparently said they don't like the way that they got to that number. They don't like the way that the Republicans raised the revenue that they raised in this deal. Uh, and as you say, you know, they, there doesn't seem to be any interest. You know, all the talk we've had, we had the midterm elections about really cutting spending and government waste. And yet it sounds like none of that is happening in these meetings for the super committee. Well, well, Martha, we don't really have a tax problem. We have a spending problem, and we're still spending more now than we did last year. We passed spending bills last week to spend more next year than we did this year. So uh, we won't deal with the spending. The General Accounting Office has given us a list of hundreds of programs that are full of waste, they duplicate each other. Right. There's, there's no reason we can't go through these. And if we turned welfare back to 2007 spending levels, we could save almost two and a half trillion dollars over the next 10 years. So the spending cuts are available without hurting people. Well, let, uh, let me ask but, you this. You, you know, it, it, it seems like we're starting to get some words that sound like we're going to kick the can down the road again, to use a, a very overused phrase. There's talking, right. oh, the deadline isn't really the deadline. And, you know, I, I just think people are so sick of hearing that. We get these deadlines, and we know that CBO has to have these numbers well before Thanksgiving in order to, to score this thing. So is, is this going to be just pushed down the road again, this whole issue after all this? Well, I'm worried about that because when, when the Democrats say that balancing the budget is an extreme idea, you don't have to think too hard to understand that they plan to keep spending more than we're bringing in. And frankly, and you had a story about default in, in Alabama at the municipal level, if you add up our municipal, state, and federal debt, we're worse off than Europe is right now. So it took several elections to get us in this hole. Yeah. We made some progress in 2010. But 2012, Martha, is our last chance to turn this thing around. We need some new people in Washington who are willing to make the hard decisions to cut spending. Well, I, you know, when you talk about kind of cutting spending and, you know, lots of uh, places do stories on these crazy named things that save, you know, all sorts of squirrels and I don't know, all, all kinds of crazy things. The, the latest one that we're hearing is the Christmas Tree Promotion Board. And, and as you point out, I, I wasn't aware that Christmas trees needed a, a, an image uh, improvement program, but it seems that that's what this is. Tell us about it. Well, Martha, this is, there's just one absurd thing after another. We can't really name them all, but this is another example of the, the president wanting to get the government into more of business. And we're going to charge for taxes on Christmas trees so they can start another government agency to promote Christmas trees. We don't need to do that at the federal level. We can't even afford to do what we're already doing. And to add another tax to something and say we're going to create a promotion agency, it just makes you want to pull your hair out. Americans have got to get engaged and realize how crazy this government is. Yeah. It's out of control. We've got to change the people who are in Washington in 2012. Well, the, the administration is saying that this didn't come from them. Uh, it, it's a USDA program, and it has been backed off a bit. Now it sounds like it's not going to happen uh, in time for this Christmas. It would have added 15 cents on every Christmas tree, live Christmas tree in the nation. 
It, so it sounds like it, they're backing off. This is this is his agency, Martha. He, he's trying to say he's not responsible for anything and take credit for things he has nothing to do with. Now, this president needs to stand up and lead, and uh, he is really making things worse almost every day here in Washington. All right. Well, I'll do my own promotion for the live Christmas tree people because I like a live Christmas tree myself. But that's just me. I do too. And that's independent. Uh, Senator Dement, always good to talk to you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mark. And Merry Christmas. <laughs> Enjoy. Merry Christmas. A rising star in Major League Baseball. Kid